Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to answer a couple of questions that have been coming in from the previous two videos that I have on LTK. I had one on LTK, how to make more money, and then also LTK, how to grow your following. So there was a few questions that came through and I figured that I will go ahead and answer them with you and also kind of like show you the process that I have whenever I am posting on LTK. Since that was one of the top questions was kind of like, what do you post? How do you post it? All that stuff. So I understand that there's a whole range of LTK creators. There's some that just got on the platform and are kind of lost and don't know exactly like how to get started. And then there's the pros. And if you're a pro, this is probably not for you. This is more kind of like the basics on LTK. So I wanted to go ahead and share that for you so that this could be kind of a good resource for you. So let's start with the first question that I had was, can you share details how to post detailed information about an item. So whenever I think about posting on LTK, one of the things that LTK creator managers um, keep harboring on is making sure that you are basically storytelling on your LTK post. So it's not just about just posting a picture now. If you have like a million followers on Instagram, you can probably just post a picture and you're gonna get sales. But for us creators who are newer to the platform and are just trying to grow, you're gonna have to do a little bit of legwork if you wanna be discovered by shoppers. So one of the things that I like to do is whenever I am posting on there, I like to basically talk about the whole outfit that, that I'm wearing. So I don't know if you guys have a blog or not. If you're a blogger, you understand what SEO is, search engine optimization. Well, LTK also has their own search engines. And so they rely on keywords to basically deliver the results to shoppers. So when a shopper is looking for a black pair of denim shorts, you might put that on the search. And so what will happen is LTK is gonna serve them all the posts that have black denim shorts or have a description about black denim shorts. Now also a lot of the time these search engines they can also kind of like read photos and so if you're wearing black shorts obviously in your video you're probably going to share that with the shopper as well. But again I don't want to rely just on the picture because sometimes something that is on that first picture is not something that somebody is sharing but throughout the video maybe you do share it that makes sense if i was going to go ahead and post this i would say oh this target long sleeve top with a crew neck is so great it has ribbing you know, like kind of describe the material describe the fit describe definitely the brand you want to go ahead and put the brands on there as well the thing you want to do whenever you're writing your captions is to also give insights into how an item fits or feels or how it moves. Whenever you think of LTK, think of yourself as like a personal shopper for somebody who like can't feel the clothing. Like you want to be able to be very descript descriptive of an item and give like truthful opinions on an item. What that's gonna do is that that's gonna create that like, know and trust with that shopper and they're gonna be more inclined to shop with you in the future if they know that you're steering them in the right direction. So one of the latest things that I'm like <laughs> having a really hard issue with is finding like slacks that fit me. So I just recently tried a couple of items from Abercrombie, the Sloan tailored pant. And you know, I tried both of them. I tried the regular fit and I tried the curve love. And I shared that obviously the regular fit with these Latina hips, like it was not happening. It was not gonna class at all. But with the curve love, it did. It gave me a little bit more room around the hip and the bum. And so that was like a better fit for myself. So doing that kind of research and then letting your shopper know like, hey, if you're a little bit curvier, you might want to try this line as opposed to this one. Then they are not wasting their time. There's a less likelihood that they are going to return the item and therefore you lose that commission. So there's just like a multitude of like reasons that you want to be very descriptive, not only for searchability, but also for that like, like, know, and trust of your customer, which are the shoppers. That's what I mean about being descriptive on your LTK post. Also, another thing that you can do is on your LTK post, every item has a like write a review section 
be sure to use that as well. Let them know because there is like a little gauge and it says if it's true to size or if it's large or if it's small. So let them know. So as far as like some of the items from Abercrombie, sometimes they run a little small. So I will go in there and click, you know, it's slightly smaller. You might want to size up or size up half a size and then just write a little description so that that way you're a little bit more helpful to your customer. Okay, the next question is, can you explain please what you mean by sharing the same post on LTK. Okay, so what I mean about sharing the same post on LTK is basically republishing the same thing. Like, don't reinvent the wheel. Like, if something is like taking off and it's one of like your trending videos or trending posts, keep sharing that. So what I like to do is I go on to the LTK Creator app and I will see what like the top trending items are the top trending LTK post and I will go ahead and open up that post and I will do recreate post. What that does is it gives you the option to go ahead and click all the same products from that original post. So I will click all of them and I, that basically opens it up into a new LTK post. From there I copy and paste the same caption. If you want to change it up you can but Honestly, if you're posting 10, 20 times a day like I'm trying to do, then that's going to get really tedious. So there is a little LTK creator tip that I have been doing that has saved me a ton of time. So whenever I'm, I've obviously, we're going to go ahead and repost the same product, the same caption, and the same photo, right? Because it's one of like the trending ones of our LTK shop. So what I like to do is first, I go ahead and open up that post that's trending and then I go and hit that share button and what I do is I copy the caption then I X out and I will go and click that recreate button so that I can highlight all the same products and then basically what that does is it opens it up into a new post so now I have all the same products on this new post Then I will go to the description and right click and paste what I had copies copied previously. Now I do go in and delete the uh, promotion part of it and also all the hashtags. You can leave a couple of the hashtags and then maybe on this new post go and click like new hashtags because you can do you can only do three when you click on but you can manually enter them on the description as well and want them to be shared out to different like captions. Um, so after I have done that then I will go ahead and just put that picture back on and share it again. And so again, I like to do this as like weekly or every couple of days is sometimes like my same trending uh, posts are like there the whole week. So that's why I kind of do it weekly. If it changes frequently for you, you might want to go in there and do that more than once. Oh, I didn't do this timer. This is why I don't do videos all the time is because my camera, if somebody knows how to fix this, but like if, if I record more than like four minutes long, the file will be too large and I can't transfer it so I can edit it on my computer. So anyways, I have to record in like four minute intervals and so it irks me, but this is what I have to do. So now I'm going to be off because I didn't hit the start. <laughs> anyways, okay, let's get back on track. So then I put that picture on there and then I will reshare it. So you can do that. Then that's what I mean about resharing the same post. If it's like like a hot seller then like just keep posting it like do it every day like it doesn't matter like just keep posting it that's all it is it's I honestly believe it's quantity like the more you post the more likelihood again that you're going to be shown on those discovery feeds um and that more people will come across your content and more likely to buy from you so it, it is what it is. That's that's the game. The name of the game. Like you just gotta get out there. You gotta get in front of people. Your content does not suck. It's just nobody is seeing it. So you know, I mean, you're competing against people who have like hundreds of thousands of followers on there. Um, and if you're just starting out, I mean, you just you gotta put in the legwork. So that's that's what I'm gonna say about that. Um, let, let me restart this so that it doesn't. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, let me restart this timer now. Oh, yeah, yeah, Chihuahua. All right, here we go. So the next uh, question is, would love and advice on how to convert lookers to buyers. So the lookers to buyers, that goes back to try to stand out a little bit. Now, LTK, they have these Zoom calls like 
very often and every single Zoom call that we get on, they talk about video. Video converts, I'm, I don't have the number at the top of my head, but it's like in the 40, 30, 30 40, 40, 60%, I don't know, that's like a wide range, but it's big, okay? So clearly video is where it's at. Also, I, this is my little theory, but I think LTK is uh, purposefully pushing out video content. It's kind of like, like Instagram kind of like, you know, um, what is it called? Depresses the, just like photos. Um, and they really shell out video because obviously that's going to keep you on the app longer. I almost feel like that's what LTK is doing here. And so again, you know, like this is the game that we play guys. And as creators, you got to give what the platform wants. The platform wants video. So if you want the lookers to turn into buyers, do the video. Another thing with video is that going back to that like, know, and trust is that you cannot alter well you get, I guess maybe now you can't alter video but it's you know it's harder to alter video people want to see how an outfit moves they want to see how that dress flows they want to see how it fits on you um, with photos it's a little bit more stylized and you know you the way that you pose and stuff like that like you can make an outfit look a lot better with video it's a lot harder and so video they also you you could speak to the camera and you can let them know hey this is how it fits this is what it feels like i feel like it's running too small they can see the color it's not altered like some photos sometimes with filters you know they change the color the video is more personable i feel like that is what's going to convert the shoppers um so the lookers into the shoppers is going to keep them on the app longer it's going to keep them on your post longer so i definitely feel like creating that type of content is what's going to get you more sales and being consistent as well. You got to be consistent. Uh, that goes back to also posting the quantity, you know, the more that you're posting, if you're posting every single day, there's just a, a, a greater likelihood that you're going to come across a shopper and they're going to buy from you. So uh, again, your content does not suck. It's just nobody is seeing it. So you got to help yourself and, you know, get yourself out there. And so, the only way to do that is to create content and like big time. And again, I'm big proponent on like 10 to 20 times a day. I know it sounds a lot, um, but you put, you get what you put out. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, okay. So got a minute. Let's go on to the next one is, uh, why are my links not, I can't even read my own handwriting. Why are my links not counting? So I wrote this huge blog post on this whole topic. Um, well, it's this topic and other topics on LTK creators, but a big portion of it was from uh, what I got from the LTK app. Now, I can't share the link from, you know, reward style because if you're, if you haven't been um, accepted to LTK as a creator, that link is not going to work. So what I did is basically interpret it and put it in this blog post. And so I will link that blog post down below if you want to go ahead and read it. But I'm going to tell you the few reasons that your links are not counting um, or that you're not getting commission for items that you know sold. Okay, so one of the reasons that your links might not be uh, counting. So one of the things is definitely um, Instagram. So Instagram has their own web browser. So like Safari, there's Chrome, and then Instagram has their own. So anytime that somebody clicks a link, if you have a link on your stories, then that link opens up in the Instagram browser. And the way that the cookies um, work, if you don't know what cookies are, is basically like a tracker, a third-party tracker, where they can basically track if they've made a purchase. And these cookies can last like seven, 24 hours to like seven days, sometimes 30 days, it depends. Um, so if they're in this Instagram um, browser and they go and they put the jeans in the cart, but they're not really ready to check out and then they get off Instagram, but then like maybe later on in the day they go and they just get on their phone on their Safari browser and they go back to Abercrombie and they put the jeans that cookie window or that cookie does not transfer browsers. So that way there's no way to know who gets credit for that. And so that's why you will not get it. So if somebody says, hey, I purchased that thing that you had shared earlier, you might wanna do a little bit more research and ask them like, you know, like, I mean, see, that's the thing is like, I don't think I would ask people like, <laughs> give them the third degree as to like, well, how did you buy it? Did you, you know? But that could be a reason is because 
that cookie is lost once they're out of that Instagram browser. So there are deep links. Um, you've, you've heard people do like the URL genius for Amazon. That's the, how they do these deep links for Amazon. The best way to overcome this is to not share direct links to products on Instagram. What I do is I link it to my LTK post because what happens is whenever they click my link, so if I'm sharing something on stories and like let's say it's this notepad and they click that link, what it's gonna do is gonna take them to my LTK post on LTK and that kicks them out of the Instagram browser and into LTK and then, so now they're on a different browser and they will, you know, then they can shop from there. And even if they go and add the notebook, this to their cart, but don't check out, but then they come back later, chances are they're gonna be on the same browser and I'm gonna get credit for this. Does that make sense? Like, I know it took me a long time to figure it out myself, um, but that's basically, what it is. Another thing that I came across is also um, whenever you're going to like there's a lot of apps out there now and a lot of these third party not third party guys but a lot of these brand apps like you know, there's Target, Nordstrom, there's Amazon, um, all of these apps there's some apps that don't um, they don't track cookies and so sorry and so that's been also going to make you lose your commission. There's no way for them to track it, who it came from or who made that sale. And so you're not going to get commission for that as well. So there, I did list some of the apps on that blog post if you want to go check it out. Um, and I did, um, so those are the type, those are the apps that LTK can track. So if you want to go check those out, my best bet, if, it, if it's too hard to track like um, a certain retailer, you might want to think about not using them. So on the blog post, I have the actual question, why am I not getting credit for some of my sales? And so according to LTK, retailers may credit a source other than the commissionable link for a shopper's purchase. So some of the reasons why you may lose that uh, source of the sale is the shopper clicks another commissionable link either from another creator or another affiliate before finalizing the purchase. So just because they went ahead and added, you know, the notepad from me, they might go back to Instagram, you know, and add more stuff to their cart. So it's really last click wins. Um, so if they unfortunately clicked another affiliate uh, before finalizing the purchase, then they get the commission, not you. Um, the shopper uses a one-time promo code, like a discount code after signing up for the retailer's newsletter when checking out. That will also make you lose, you know, every time that you go into a retailer, they, they want you to sign up. They want your email for like a discount. Um, if they do that, you might lose the, um, the commission as well. And then the shopper clicks another tracking link from Google Shopping or another search engine that embeds a tracking cookie in the shopper's browser. So those are just like some reasons why you are, you know, not getting commissions, um, which it does suck because, you know, and then that also goes back to like, if you do brand collaborations, it also kind of like messes up with your conversions because at the end of the day, and that's one thing I'm going to say, and this is completely off topic because I know we're talking LTK, but like if you're doing these type of brand deals um, and they are saying that, you know, they're going to pay, but you have to bring in X amount of sales, stay clear of those just because like they're, it's, it's almost near impossible to really fully track your conversions or how much sales you're making because again, most people don't buy something until they hear about it like seven times. So while, you know, like if I wanted to sell you this phone and it's like the first time you heard about it, you might not buy it, you know, and let's say your campaign is not over, but you really like it. So you continue to share it. Chances are the more your audience starts seeing you with this phone, they're going to be more inclined to buy. So I don't like that, you know, putting like stipulations as like you have to make X amount of sales. Um, and that also goes back to LTK with their collaborations that they have for brands. Um, I'll be honest, like a lot of the ones that I've done, um, are brands that are new to me as well. Uh, and I believe in them, but they're also new to me. So more than likely, they're probably going to be new to my audience. And so, yeah, the conversions are very low, but again, it's really hard to track because who knows, maybe they buy it later or maybe they see it in store and then they buy it in the store, you know, and you don't get credit, but even though you're the one that brought awareness to the product. So anyways, I went on a tangent there. <laughs> we could talk about that another time. But anyways, I really hope that this 
was helpful for you. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to send, put your questions down below. I am so like, I get so much joy from helping others just because I know the struggle. I've had to figure it out by myself. Um, and so I, if I can make your life a little bit easier, I just feel good about like helping out. So uh, just let me know if you have any questions, put them down in the description and maybe we'll do another video with these uh, frequently asked questions. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye!